Bless the Lord, God is good, he's great, he's awesome. He tells us in his word, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and last letters of the Greek alphabet. He is the very beginning and the ending. In fact, God is eternal. God is eternal. And we are bound by time, but he is not. He's from eternity to eternity. He's from everlasting to everlasting. He says, I am the first and the last. I'm the beginning and the end. He's the beginning. So this God that we serve, he's great. He's omnipotent. He's omniscient. He's omnipresent. And he is eternal. Those are the um, divine attributes of God. He's eternal. He's um, omnipresent, omnipotent, and omniscient, knowing everything. He said, blessed are those who wash their robes so that they may have the right to the tree of life and that they may enter the city by the gates. These are people who are, um, they believe the Lord, they're following the Lord and um, they now have the right to enter into the new Jerusalem, the new Jerusalem. He says, outside are the dogs, the sorcerers, the sexually immoral, so people pursuing any kind of occult and and, and witchcraft and, and um sort of touching into the kingdom of darkness um, forming some kind of a union consulting mediums and spirits and psychics and things like that people involved in seances and things like that and um, it says a uh, sexually immoral these people who are involved in all forms of sexual immorality god has given us um uh, sex is only for within the confines of marriage between a man and a woman in his word that's anything outside of that would be sexual immorality and murderous people who take the lives of others and idolaters setting anything up um that stands in the place of god in your life the idolaters everyone who loves and practices falsehood falsehood anything that is apart from that which is consistent with the word of god so outside are, are the dogs and the sorcerers and sexually immoral and murderers and so on um so god is laying out for us here um the the characteristics of those who are going to be in the kingdom everlasting those who are going to be on the outside so the people who think today that well you know they can pursue an immoral lifestyle an idolatrous lifestyle um you know doing whatever they like in disobedience to god's word and yet make it into god's eternal kingdom into the kingdom of heaven that's not what God says. That's not what God says. So we have to stick to what the Bible says, not what man says or what we think. God is God and it is his word that stands forever. We have to surrender and submit to that. Amen. God bless.